Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is all about the Sloan Ranger. Did you know that Sloan Rangers are back in 2020? Well, now you do. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about what a Sloan Ranger is, the who, what, when, where. And then I'm going to share with you how you can dress like a Sloan Ranger. But what we're going to do is update it a little bit because as I'll get into in the video, the Sloan Ranger style really came about in the 80s. So we will be updating it to make it wearable in 2020. But I would also like to say that I feel like the 80s gets a really, really bad rap for fashion. Some of it is totally warranted. Like there were some truly, truly atrocious things in the 1980s. But then there were cute aspects of the 1980s too. In fact, a lot of the trends that we're seeing at the moment are 80s trends and you just don't know it or maybe you do, I don't know. First off, let's get into what the Sloan Ranger look actually is and I only heard of this term very recently. I recently put up a video on my channel all about dressing in that classic British style and one of my subscribers, Anne, hi Anne, she commented on the video saying that they used to call this the Sloan Ranger look and I, I just hadn't heard of the term so then I went down rabbit hole of learning all about the Sloan Ranger look. The term Sloan Ranger was coined in the early 1980s and it was basically a term to describe a certain group of young people living in West London. It's a term that encapsulates both their fashion and their lifestyle. It's sort of like those terms that we use today like hipster or prep star. You know when you think hipster, this is probably more 10 years ago, but you think flannel shirts and beanies and sipping a coffee in Portland, Oregon, or if you're thinking prep star, you're thinking New England, maybe on a yacht in Nantucket with a golden retriever wearing boat shoes. What I'm trying to say is a whole image and lifestyle comes to mind, not just the fashion, although the fashion is a major part of it. So the Sloan Ranger, the Sloan Ranger was hanging around West London in Chelsea in particular. I believe the Sloan part of the Sloan Ranger name is named after Sloan Square in London. And they were young, upper middle class people, educated, well-spoken. They were stylish, but in a classic way of dressing like the preppy style is today. But remember, this is the 80s. So there definitely was 80s influences in their fashion sense, things like puff sleeves, collars. We'll get into that a little bit later. So yes, the style was very classic, very refined. It could be carefree, but never sloppy. And although this was a upper middle or upper class way of dressing, they were never flashy or showy in the way that they dressed. Like you would not see a Sloan wearing something that was very obviously a designer piece. They might actually be wearing something designer, but it wouldn't have a designer logo or something like a look at me, look how much money thing I have. It would definitely be more discreet. As I was mentioning before, being a Sloan Ranger was not just about the fashion, it was about the lifestyle too. They would not be caught dead outside of West London, they just did not venture out. You might see them having brunch with their friends of a weekend. They might work at an art gallery. They're a philanthropist, probably. They're, they're a bit posh, but not in like an off-putting posh way, but like they're posh. There's also, probably because they're British, they might be just a little bit emotionally closed off. It's sort of that British sensibility of just just being a little bit emotionally distant. <laughs> it's so weird because it's definitely a, a, a thing you can sense in people if they're a Sloan Ranger or not. Okay, examples of a Sloan Ranger. A female Sloan Ranger, Princess Diana, of course. The term Sloan Ranger was really about Princess Diana to begin with. Anyway, it was about her lifestyle and her fashion. So it's only natural that we use her as a female example of a Sloan Ranger. But, and this is a very important part, we're talking young Princess Diana. So when she was in her flat in West London, then was dating Charles and got married. And then when the boys were very, very young, that was like peak Sloan Ranger period for Diana. It's the period of Diana that I believe we're going to see on the next series of The Crown, the fourth series, which is coming out next week, so quite soon. Young Princess Diana really encapsulated what it meant to be a Sloan Ranger. First of all, her lifestyle, then her looks just in general. I mean, she was very naturally pretty girl, but she wasn't like a drop dead gorgeous supermodel. She was a naturally beautiful girl and that's part of her charm as well. That's why people fell in love with her. Now for men, I would say the ultimate Sloan Ranger in my eyes is Hugh Grant in that Four Weddings and a Funeral era. That movie was made a little bit later, like early 90s, but still 
He just encapsulates the whole Sloan Ranger vibe. He had the feathered hair, which Princess Di had too. Feathered and wispy hair is a, it's a bit of a Sloan Ranger thing. He would wear the Ray-Ban sunglasses and have his button-up shirt and his khaki pants. And just who Hugh Grant is himself. Like he's this suave boy from West London. He's an amazing conversationalist. He's very witty, very well-spoken and funny and just lives that Sloan Ranger lifestyle. All right, so let's really get into the fashion aspect of being being a Sloan Ranger and how we can adopt this style into 2020. First way to dress like a Sloan Ranger is to wear penny loafers. Loafers are such a classic look. They really haven't gone out of style. This is not something that we have to modernize because loafers are still cute. And I love that they can be worn year round. They look just as beautiful with a summer dress as they do with jeans in winter. Kate Middleton is a big fan of wearing loafers when she's out casually. And a really cute sort of 80s callback way to wear the loafers is to wear them with little crew socks. I feel like that would be such a cute, especially with an outfit like this, that's a bit like academic vibes. Very very cute. Next up, pleated skirts. Now in the 80s, these were normally made of a heavier, maybe like a tweed fabric and there were longer skirts. But a way to modernize it is a mini skirt, like a little tennis skirt. I'm a fan of these especially. Or you can still get mini skirts that are pleated. They are normally in a more flowy material now, like a little satin or a chiffon. Next up is the scarf or shawl, specifically a pashmina scarf. Scarves can of course be worn in so many different ways. The Sloan Ranger was particularly a fan of wearing them as a head scarf or a neck scarf, but there's just so many different ways. You can wear them in your hair, you can tie them to your handbag. I've seen girls wear them as tops, which personally isn't my particular thing, but they really do look cute, especially if you're going to like a music festival or something. Next up, barbell jackets. And this doesn't really need an update for 2020. I feel like barbell jackets were cute in 1980 and they're cute in 2020 as well. Next up, a big trend at the moment, and that is sweater vests or knitted vests or sleeveless jumpers or whatever you want to call them. I feel like they have so many different names, which actually makes it hard to search for them and buy them online because you don't know what the particular retailer is calling them. Mini rant over, sorry, but it really bugs me. I am so, so happy that vests are back. I've actually been wanting to get into them for a while now. That sounds so weird. Like I've been really wanting to get into vests, but I honestly have, like I've been searching for them for ages and now that they're a trend, they're readily available for me which is good. I am just obsessed with vests and this is where my inner Sloan Ranger is really coming out and just uh, clawing for those sweater vests. I love them so much. There are so many cute ones out there at the moment. This particular one is from Zara and I like this one because it is quite light so I can layer it really nicely. Oh, also while we're on the subject of knitwear, did you know that they are re-releasing Diana's iconic sheep jumper? Yeah. So there is a collaboration between the brand of Rowing Blazers and Warm and Wonderful. Warm and Wonderful is the original creators of the sheep jumper. They're making it for both men and women. So get on it. If you're a big Princess Diana fan, go and snap it up. It's incredibly popular. Like people are snapping them up. So they're on pre-order at the moment. Next thing, and this is very 80s, the puff sleeves. Puff sleeve blouses and dresses have been a big trend for the last couple of years, which of course was influenced by 80s puff sleeves. And in the 80s, it was influenced by Edwardian fashion. So it's all cyclical, isn't it? You can find shirts and blouses and dresses pretty much anywhere with these puff sleeve things. In my opinion, some of them are starting to go a bit over the top. I tried on a shirt in Zara the other day and the puffs were like hitting my ears. They were that big and puffy. It's a look for sure, but just in day-to-day -day life, it's a little bit much. But you can find some really, really beautiful blouses with the puff sleeves that aren't too crazy. They're just like, they're that nice level of puffiness. Statement collars. Statement collars are a massive thing right now. And not just like, oh, a little, oh, a collar. Like I'm talking a statement collar. I think it was the designer brand Garni that really started this I'm talking statement collar trend. For more affordable options, I would check out Zara. I've seen them in Zara and also Monkey. Velvet headbands. Velvet headbands were a Sloan Ranger thing, specifically for Sarah Ferguson, Fergie. I don't know why, just 
she loved a velvet headband and as we know headbands have been a massive trend these last couple of years so you can really find a headband in any which way you choose told you all these 80s trends were around this is my favorite little pink velvet headband i get a lot of wear out of this because i'm at the point with my bangs and my fringe where i don't know what's going on and half the time i just want them off my face another slow ranger staple were ditzy floral dresses and you can find some really really beautiful midi length floral tea dresses specifically coming to mind is the brand ghost they make some really nice vintage feeling floral dresses kate middleton loves ghost and also holly willoughby wears that brand a lot and now i think of it holly willoughby is a really good sloan ranger contemporary in terms of her fashion she loves a statement collar she's been really digging those at the moment she really loves her floral dresses i'm actually planning to do a whole video specifically on holly's style i think she has amazing style and there's how to dress like a sloan ranger in 2020 but remember it's not just about the fashion it's about the whole lifestyle too so so if you really want to be a slow ranger, you best move to London, get a feathered haircut and just live your best life. If you did enjoy today's video, please do give it a like and also subscribe to my channel for more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.